regret. What's all that racket over there? Oh, those three are at it again. Lady Rebecca, what pray tell were you playing at? Why did you withhold Ragnate from your comrades? Could you not see their wounds? They were superficial and a waste of good Ragnate. Those whiners just needed to rub some dirt in it. A waste, you say? What use is a medic who hoards medicine? I have my own ways of doing things. Besides, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. What do you call a gunner who can't shoot a gun? Always sneaking away from the rifle range to play with that sword of yours. Don't think I hadn't noticed. <laughs> it's no wonder your aim never improves. You're both full of it. We're soldiers. We can't just do whatever we damn well please. Rebecca, that Ragnate is Federation property. You don't decide who gets first aid. You give it. And you, Florey. Do you even know what year it is? Only officers can carry swords. Ceremonial swords. How can either of you demand respect if you disrespect the rules? Let's talk this over and come to a solution. Now see here! <laughs> I'm not the one bringing a toy sword to a gunfight. A toy? Say that again! I dare you! Rebecca, Florey, and Mabel aren't getting along, huh? That's putting it lightly. They're at each other's throats. But if you ask me, it's simply a matter of getting to know each other better. They're good people. They just need a nudge in the right direction. Hmm, in that case... I've had to reassign sleeping quarters after some random personnel changes. In other words, you're bunking together now. All of us? <sighs> Doesn't matter to me. I can't help but feel that there's an ulterior motive here. Is there a reason for the reassignment, sir? Uh, nope. Like I said, uh, totally random. <clears throat> Incidentally, you're also being assigned to the same fire team tomorrow. That'll be all. Dismissed. Ah, oh, that's enough sword practice for today. Hmm? Is that shouting I hear? What are you getting all snappy for, Mabel? I'm sure you can guess. Don't play dumb with me. You said Florey is completely useless, didn't you? Well, yeah. She can't shoot for shit. Maybe so, but are you really a crack shot yourself? If you can do better, you should help her improve. Throwing insults behind her back doesn't help anyone. The only one being useless here is you. N now hold on. Oh, do you have some criticism for me? Let's hear it, Mr. Know-it-all. I'm right here. Fine, I'm sorry. Jeez, way to fly off the handle. Just let me off the hook, okay? Mabel, were you just, how you say, sticking up for me? And you really let him have it. I've never seen you lose your composure like that. I come from a long line of proud soldiers. The Drake family tells it like it is. And I still haven't seen you at the shooting range. Why do you keep running off to play with blades? My father was a knight. An honorary title, of course, but he practiced swordsmanship every day. He was an honorable warrior, and I hope to be one too. That is why I follow the code of chivalry. Knighthood means living and dying by the sword. Guns are for weaklings and cowards. Are you calling Federation soldiers weak and cowardly? No, that's not what I meant. I just... I can't give up my passion for something I don't care about. Sorry for taking your time. Let's head back to the tent. Did she pass out already? Seems that way. But she's talking in her sleep. Oh, no, I... Please, I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's all my fault. No, no, no! Lady Rebecca, what's wrong? Wake up! Ah! You were having a nightmare. Are you feeling all right? It's nothing. Nothing but a bad dream. Don't worry about it. You two should get some sleep. 
We have a mission to go on tomorrow. Allow me to brief you on your mission. to engage. This can't be right. I see twice as many Imperials as the report estimate. It's far too late to call off the mission now, sir. Good point. Sorry, everyone. This operation just took an unexpectedly dangerous turn. We're at war. Danger's about the one thing we can't expect. I'm fine. Doesn't change my job either way. You three are totally unfazed. You're on my side. Try not to get shot, girl. And if you do, don't come crying to me. How cool! Have you no compassion? Hush! You can nitpick each other after we win. in order. Defensive formation. Race for enemy attack. get killed. Get killed. 
Minimal damage. We'll hold the enemy back. Take the wounded to the rear. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. If you need to fall back, I can hold the fort on my own just fine. You seem to be on your last leg yourself. I can cover you if you wish to withdraw. Do you take me for someone who turned tail and run over a scratch? I'd advise you not to insult the Drake family. Least of all, me. I'm sorry. That was out of line. You can never tell what's going to set you off, people. Doesn't matter. I have no intention of falling back. We Drakes fight to the last. As do knights. The Imperials shall taste my blade. That's Mabel over there. And Florey. I heard they were treating. This is an order. Defensive formation. Brace for enemy attack. Area clear. Mission complete. Mabel, Flore, are you all right? Of course, Commander. We are both. <gasps> Mabel, you are covered in blood. I was careless. Got clipped by a stray bullet. Hang in there, medic. We need Ragnar now. I'm sorry. Our supplies were all used up in the fight. Out of my way. I still have some Ragnade left. Help me patch her up! R right Rebecca, I'm not gonna lose you. Not anyone. Never again. Don't you dare die on me. That should do it. You'll be right as rain in a couple days. I'm real grateful. Don't thank me. Thank Rebecca. You're right. Thanks, Rebecca. I'm only alive because you... Do you always keep extra for a rainy day? <sighs> there was a time when you gave out Ragnade like candy, right? Another medic told me about it. You'd run to heal anyone who got so much as a scratch. They'd all laugh and tell you not to baby them. Lady Rebecca used to be like that. 
Until one day, I blew through my Ragnade in minutes. That battle dragged on for hours. All I could do was watch my friends die, one by one. I hear their screams whenever I sleep, but I keep waking up, still alive. So every morning, I promise myself I won't lose anyone else. Maybe we should all be more careful with supplies. Rebecca, you care about our squad mates' lives more than anyone here. I was wrong about you. This was I. Forgive me for calling you cruel. <sighs> I suppose I owe you an apology, too. I didn't mean to call your sword a tool. It's just frustrating. Seeing how hard you work at everything but marksmanship. I only wanted you to take your rifle training seriously. I'm sorry for insulting you instead. A apology accepted. No, Lady Rebecca. Please accept my own apology. My father was an honorable knight, you see. And that's why I follow the cult of chivalry. To live and die by the sword! O okay. I understand. I didn't know it meant so much to you. You did fight with honor and bravery back there. I'll give you that. But it doesn't change the fact that you'll never get permission to wield a blade in a combat zone. Listen, I say this because I care. If you don't improve your aim, you won't live by the sword. You'll die by it. <sighs> really don't. All you say means words. Nevertheless, hmm. You've given me a lot to think about. Do you mind if I sleep on it? You want me to help with your firearm training? Next you'll be telling me Portcavians can fly. So, does that mean you've come to a decision? Me. I think you've won me over. I always felt that relying on guns is weak and cowardly, but that isn't the case at all. A true knight uses the best tool for the task at hand. I couldn't agree more. Take our last mission. We all fought with honor and courage. It's not the weapons that matters, but how we use it. Thus, I promise to devote myself to gunplay and swordplay. From now on, I shall take my marksmanship seriously. Glad to hear it. I'd be happy to help you make up for the practice you missed. That's all well and good, but remember, safety first. Don't go shooting yourself in the foot. Oh, but before we begin your training, this is for you, Flore. Karen stitched your torn holster back up for you. Try to take better care of it next time. I'll treat it like my sheath, Lady Rebecca. But why is there a teddy bear stitched onto it now? said she made it cuter for you. Oh, she shouldn't have. Oh my god, so cute. Huh? Mabel, do you like this kind of thing? What? N no, of course not. I'm a proud soldier. I don't care about that cutesy stuff. <laughs> um. I think Karen has some other patterns too. Ooh. Like bunnies, or kitten. <gasps> really? Take care not to tell your uniform, Lady Mabel. <laughs> it's not like I do that on purpose. Enough of this. Your training begins now, Flore. We'll start with a mock battle. Just you and me. Wait, what about target practice? Is this your way of taking revenge? Don't be dramatic. We'll use non-lethal rounds. Though I have no intention of holding back. Lady Rebecca, would you be so kind as to heal me, should they need a rise? No, that's a waste of good Ragnade. H have you no heart? Uh, I guess they've grown closer. Can't you tell? We're best friends forever now.
Okay, let's... The fresh recruits could give our...